What is like jumping off the plate sizzling? I'm <laughs> like, let me just grab it. Good, huh? It's very hot to eat, even. Yeah. It's like so much blue cheese on this. I don't know what it is. I used to hate blue cheese, and now I love it. Still is that crumbles, weird? Though. The salad that I got at the uh, restaurant for lunch had tons of blue cheese all over it. It was so good. You do it, I guess. Yeah, and then of course, you know, as. This is the best water. If you can find it, it's so good. But seriously, it's expensive and it's kind of stupid, but it is so good. <laughs> Our grocery store that used to sell it stopped selling it. Damn, I'm pretty. Did you think they were saying, damn, I'm pretty? Number one, October 9th, 1999. So it doesn't make any sense. 99. Let's start. Jay-Z's so awkward in the background of this song. Everyone. I have just discovered the Boom Chicka Pop. The one that's in the lavender bag that's just a regular kettle corn is what dreams are made of. And the barbecue one's good too. I just busted into this one. It's milk chocolate drizzled kettle corn. It is so good. This is 120, 140 calories per serving. So if you're like watching that, I think the one that doesn't have chocolate's even less, but the regular kettle corn one is so good. The barbecue's good. This one, all of them are good. I'm about to go get Olivia. She just started stirring around, but. <clears throat> Yeah, so just clean that table off back there. I'm about to kind of put some stuff up in here. Maybe I'll hang this sign. I don't know. I think it's kind of like sometimes I feel like it's cheesy, but I like the way the writing looks. Like, I just think it's pretty. So I think I might hang it here. <clears throat> and that is a really beautiful wooden thing that I have been trying to figure out a place to put it forever. And it's like, I want to put it somewhere like where. You could really see it good in the house, but then I've got so many other like good things in areas like that. And I always, sometimes I don't realize that like when, where I film, like the background of where I film gets seen by more people than anything. So I thought that would be so beautiful, right? Oh my gosh, do yourself a favor. Brad actually bought this one for himself, but he didn't eat it. It's been in there for like two weeks. So I'm like, mine now. Ooh, that's a good, that's a big one. I don't know. Daniel. Daniel. Because right at the beginning, it goes through them all and lists them. And she knows your list. She knows, she knows it's coming. So this is from Pier 1. This is from Pier 1. This charter is pretty old, um, really pretty. And then these are my um, holiday plates. They're just so nice. They're like really thick and heavy. And I got them from Target just, let's see, 2010. 2010. I guess it's when we moved into our old house. Oh yeah, I, I like went to like several Targets to round them all up. And this is a little, whatever, a napkin ring from Pier 1. And then this is from Pier 1 too. Although they didn't have many of these, I just bought like whatever napkins they had left. I thought I could use them like in a bread basket or just somewhere because I just thought they were so pretty. Um, but I have more that I can use that are kind of silvery. So I might put like these two at the head and then put the other like goldish, like thinner napkins in the middle. I don't these are cute too. I got these from Pier One, but they only had two. They're just like little felt snowflakes. I might put them like right there and then we can put stuff on top of them. I didn't get the tag off of that one. Pretty. Pretty. Do you love it? Pretty. I can't even take it, you guys. Yellow. Yellow. That is yellow. Oh my gosh, she's pointing to it. She's hilarious. Okay. Mama. 
it's like scary. It's like one day they're a baby and then they just like no colors. And numbers too. She has this numbers puzzle and there's like a zero on it and she says zero and then she can count to ten. Perfect. That is the perfect addition. I love it. Two. 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 Five. That's five. Right there. Five. Job. Uh, uh. Oh, you skipped four. Four. First four. Four. Yay, Libby! What? I keep on hearing her scratching the pages. Yeah, they're they're textured. Hi, Brad. Look, we haven't vlogged in a while. So, yeah. So this morning, Abraham came back to the house and, <clears throat> um, like, to to measure and stuff, like for the granite, just to kind of like or to measure for the countertops so just kind of like talk to us and figure it out and he um we were supposed to go to the stone yard tomorrow but he said to go ahead and we could go today and then we could get the counters before christmas oh. so we like took off and went out and picked them out I'm, I'm really really excited are you excited brad i'm excited i'm ecstatic hello boy are you waiting for some food? He's waiting for her to drop food. He's very intense. He's like her ultimate protector. It's like why you never see him because he's always with her. Good morning, you guys. So I wanted to show you the, I want to say final, but I don't want to say final because there's one more thing I do want to change in the kitchen. I want to get a new light fixture for above our kitchen table, but I'm just not in a big hurry. I'm kind of like back and forth on a few. Um, and I want to be sure, you know, like I don't want to just like pick something. So. I wanted to show you the kitchen. What's happening? Um, now that it's kind of like all done since we got our countertops in. And to some of you, it may not be like a huge surprise because when I, okay, when I did that first video where I was kind of like telling you guys the plans, we did have dinner here last night. So um, finally, we had Christmas dinner with the family and everything. And I ordered Mexican. <laughs> we had like a big big a fajita bar it was so good because i didn't want to do casseroles and christmas food and everything i had planned on doing that day because i had been so sick that day and we had ate that the day before which i don't think that's what it did i, I really don't i just feel like i had some kind of a virus but then nobody else got it it was so bad and then we all got sick after that with colds but anyways Last thing I wanted to do was make like turkey and casseroles and dressing and all that or have have that. So uh, so I was like, let's do something just easy and it was so much fun and so perfect and I kind of want to do that every Christmas now. It was so much fun. But now I'm left with like taking down all the Christmas decorations because I want to leave them up until my family came. Um, so now I need to get everything down. I'm wearing my Vogue sweatshirt, my Ellen and Vogue sweatshirt. I'm getting a few more or one more new one soon that she told me about that I cannot wait. And in winter, I basically just like live in these. I love them. We're expecting snow tonight, so I'm so excited. Um, hopefully, I don't know. They're acting like it's gonna be a big deal, but who knows. But anyways, so back to the counters. When we did our kitchen, I went through the whole thing and I told you guys exactly what we were planning and I said, you know, with the counters, these were here when we moved in, they were the old counters were granite. And I was like, you know, if I were to pick counters, I would pick something like white and marbly but I was kind of afraid of marble, I told you guys. And I didn't know that they made quartz or stuff that looked like marble, which is what we got. We got quartz, and I love it. Like, when you really just make a good decision and you're so happy about it, that's how I feel about that. And I feel like that about the whole kitchen, but then when it was done and the counters were kind of different, it was just kind of like what? But anyway, so... So anyways, but, but I thought, let's keep them because we had all these big plans for the kitchen, and I was more excited for that. I didn't know what a big difference the counters would make. I thought, well, these old ones are nice, and it's fine, and whatever, let's just do it, and the kitchen will be white anyways, it'll be fun. And when it was done, I stepped back, and I was like, whoa, the kitchen's so good. And for a few days, we were just such in shock of how, the kitchen, how good the kitchen was, like when it was done, that like the changes that were made that it was just wonderful. But then as the week went on, I started looking and I'm like, you know, we did, we put so much into this kitchen and we, it just needs to be completely right. So I'm gonna get the counters that I want. So they came back and did them before Christmas, which was really awesome. 
And um, yeah, I honestly would have probably done marble. I didn't know marble was like one of the most inexpensive. Carrera marble is like literally the most inexpensive, pretty much one of the most inexpensive, like solid things you could do. I didn't know that. But Carrera looks kind of, it's what we have on our backsplash, which I'll show you, which I love on our backsplash. That's what I picked out for there. But on the counters, I wanted everything to be kind of like, since our cabinet color is a little more warm, I wanted it to just kind of blend and look creamy. I didn't want to look in there and think that the counters looked gray. You know what I mean? And Carrera marble does look like that, especially if you, like most of it does. Like it's hard to find good slabs. There was some at the stone yard that were on hold for somebody that were a little wider, but they still had that big like design, you know? Um, but I don't know, I had never really looked at a lot of countertops. The quartz that I had seen were either super glittery and like looked almost like laminate, like the old school laminate, you know, that looks like little chunks all over, uh, which I definitely did. That was just not what I'm into. Or um, I want something that looked like soft, kind of marbly, that had some variation, a little bit of interest, but that didn't have like giant like lightning bolt pieces throughout it, you know what I mean? So um, I just didn't think that they made quartz that looked like that. I thought it looked all printed from what I had seen. And when we went to the stone yard and were looking, I knew I kind of just didn't want marble right away from what I saw. Um, but the quartz that we saw, there were some that definitely looked printed. Like it looked like there was a design that was repeated. But ours, which we found out after we got the price for it, was like a very like higher grade. Like it was a lot more expensive because of the design. And it looks almost like 3D, like it looks like a natural stone, like it has so much depth and the design doesn't look just super repeat, like it's a, it's a big slab design, it's like it's so beautiful. I'm so happy with it, I love that we don't have to worry about it. Quartz you can pretty much do anything with and it won't stain or anything like that. It is more expensive, but I think it's so, so worth it. But yeah, like marble, at our two, okay, no, not our last house, but bef the, where we lived before, had we had a marble vanity in our bathroom and just if you laid your toothbrush or if you sat something like a coke and it sweat you know like the sweat would you know and if it had a little bit of coke on it or anything it would leave a, a ring like a like a dull looking ring and they call that etching like anything that's slightly acidic which is pretty much everything like even your tap water can make it look like that so while we're not super careful with things and like we beat the hell out of our wood floors and like I'm not careful with handbags I think I would honestly be good with marble because I enjoy that but I kind of honestly don't I don't know if I would because it's like more something that you see kind of like on your I don't know it's not like a floor that you're stepping on or I don't know what it is I just I think it would have bothered me and whenever we went to sell the house you know, not that we're planning on moving anytime soon, but, you know, I want them to look new. I don't want to think, well, shoot, I hope someone doesn't come in here and not like this marble that looks stained to hell. So, I'm really excited about it. I think it looks really good. Um, what else to talk about? I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling this morning. Um, oh, I kind of like halfway did my makeup today because I tried out that new, the Laura, or the Lancome Grandiose Eyeliner. This is such an odd um, angle, and I apologize, but the, okay, so the Grandiose Eyeliner, that is the black, you know, that's really thick. Like, I put so much on today because I was just going to try it out. I tried the other colors, and the brown is the most perfect brown ever. I'll link them below. And I've actually been using the mascara, which I hated the first time I tried it. It's the Grandiose Extreme. That's not what I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing the Tarte Lifted that's in black brown, which I usually don't wear black brown uh, mascaras. But if they make this in black, I think it will be perfect. But the black brown is kind of just good for every day like this, just around the house. But, but you guys, I'm just like, I'm still a little sick sounding. I know it's annoying. Like this whole, all my videos lately, I've been like, I'm sick, I'm sick. And I really, like it's just, it sucks. But I have to, I don't have to, but I do need to take down all of our Christmas stuff now. So this tree will be easy. That tree will be fairly easy. The new tree that's in the family room is not going to be so easy because I put the lights on it myself. So kind of dreading that that'll probably be the last to go it needs to be the first to go though because the box is the biggest I don't know we're doing so much in the basement we have like a new plan for the basement which we're moving the gym that's down there in the biggest room which is in a huge huge room um we're moving that to this we have an unfinished part of the basement that's pretty big so we're going to put the gym in there and then kind of slowly finish that out because we want to do like a big like 
I don't know. We want to do something different in the other room. So, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you until it's done, but my arm hurts, so. And I don't want you to be, like, looking at my nose if I sit on the table. So, I'll probably be doing that today. Hopefully, it snows. I'm really excited about it because it's Friday night. We don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. And I want to see some snow. I want to see some big, real snow. And occasionally, we do. And people joke about, like, the south and, like, how people react in Georgia to the snow. But we've had huge snows in the past. Like, really big. I mean, it doesn't last for days or anything or, like, whole seasons like some places. But it's just the thing is, is, like, when we get a couple inches of snow and we live kind of in an area where there's ton, I mean, tons of trees. It's not, like, normal. It's, like, tons of trees. There's ice all over the roads. And the problem here is that no one treats the roads. So if you live somewhere where it does snow all the time and they're prepared... And if it's winter, they just normally know when to, to treat the roads and you can drive and go anywhere. We don't have that. Like, our cities don't have snow plows, like, because it doesn't, doesn't snow here much. So you're just screwed and you can't really do anything. Um, so when they make fun of people driving in the snow in Georgia, it's because, like, imagine if you live somewhere snowy and no snow plows, no treating the roads. So that's kind of how it goes. Um, and they just don't know. Like, they declared a state of emergency, like, for this weekend, and it's not even doing anything because they know that, they can't really do it. it's, it's funny but I'm like hold up at home so we're excited I want it to do it but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna show you the kitchen and this vlog's just gonna be very random with a whole bunch of stuff so I hope you guys enjoy it wish me like taking down this stuff I'm gonna try to get the vlog done today so I can get it up today did I say it was Thursday it's not it's Friday this vlog needs to go up today okay so here it is and okay the stools, when I change the countertops, look so much better, which is a huge relief because I actually really do like them. Anyways, don't they look better? Okay, so here it is. Get back this way. So good, right? I think it just, like, it made such a big difference. Um, but, so yeah, it's one of those things that, like, it just, I didn't realize how much of a difference it was going to make until we... Until we did it, it just kind of tied the whole thing together, but it looks just clean and like warm still, which is really cool about these countertops. So let me show you. Um, aren't these beautiful? I got them from a Z Gallery, but I thought they just looked so pretty in the kitchen. But anyways, so there are quartz, so you can see like from a distance, you don't really see a lot of the veining, but they just don't look stark white. And I guess for me, like with marble, if I was going to find a good marble piece, it would have had to have been like kind of almost a little warmer in tone or just very white. I don't like really like um, for countertops for in here. I, I didn't really want anything that was too um, like solid gray looking, which a lot of the slabs we looked at were. And I don't like it when it looks like just a giant like piece going through, you know what I mean? Like when, and some of the quartz that's trying to be marble looks like that. Like it looks like they've just done like a big lightning bolt and it's just too much so I like how this looks soft but then when you get up on it it has a lot of like it doesn't look like like a continued thing like the whole thing is kind of different you know what I mean like it's not a pattern and we looked at so many um we looked at so many quartz uh pieces that were different than this just slightly that looked like a pa like you could see the print and this one has depth like when you're under the lights and stuff it looks like it's layered, you know, and then like, it's not just screened on <laughs> Brad's dancing. And then yes, we did get a new dishwasher, which is so good. Um, I just, I love it. And then we did get a new faucet too. <laughs> what are you doing? We got, okay, we got a new faucet too. And okay, not that the, anything was wrong with the old one, but it was one of those like big craney ones. I'm just over it. Like we had one of those at the old house that was kind of more like, um, what was it called? Like it was kind of more like industrial looking, I guess. I don't remember. Was it chrome? Anyways, I liked it a lot. And then here, the faucet was here when we moved in, but with it being dark, it was like huge. It just like when you looked at pictures of the kitchen, like the faucet was literally like this tall and it was just huge. And I was kind of over the spray. I don't know. I was just over it. So I wanted something that looked kind of like it, you know, to kind of tied in with the pot filler. So everything's oil rubbed bronze, which I like to mix things up. And it would have totally been fine to, like, do different hardware. But I like the faucets to match, you know. And they did before, but I just wanted a new one. Um, it's kind of like, you know, they have, like, bridge faucets that look like this. That's kind of like, you know, that have, like, the two things. But in a kitchen, I think it's just nice to have this. So that when you have dirty hands or you're 
full in with like chicken or something. You don't need to be like, that's just not practical. And I see a lot of that done. Um, but I really like these. So if you want one that looks like that, they do make them. So it's just kind of a little like daintier, I think. Uh, let me think of anything else to tell you. I don't think I really elaborated last time on a lot of stuff. So this is like just a plain white beveled subway tile. Someone asked me like details on that and that's just like really all I can give you. I don't know. Uh, and then the backsplash. This is a Carrera marble. It's very like from a distance. It's very like light and it gives a little something to the kitchen because it's not just solid white. You know, like it's not just the white. It gives it a little something. But you can see like Carrera marble has a little bit of a like the veining is gray and it's a little cooler. So you have to think about that. Like if you're going to do, you know, do it on a counter. And I had no idea. I had no idea that marble was, that marble was as inexpensive as it was. I was always thinking it would be like much more expensive. This was actually, when we picked it out, he was like, yeah, it'd probably be kind of the same, like a quartz, or it will be a little more expensive. But this was like the most expensive quartz, and I think I can tell a difference. Like when we were looking at the other pieces, you could literally tell the biggest difference. There's glitter all over this countertop. I was wrapping a gift, that those gifts that I was doing earlier. Yeah, okay, so we had really dark cabinets before, or countertops before, and I thought they didn't show crumbs and stuff. These hide crumbs like crazy. Like, I'll think they're clean, and then I'll get down, and they'll be really gross. So, um, so white countertops are not as bad, especially if they have, like, a little bit of something going on. But see, like, they just, from a distance, they just look, they don't look busy, but then up close, they have interest, you know, like, they're not just nothing. And then, honestly, best toaster ever. I don't think anything else I could talk about. We had these tiny little round ones that we tried out and we like couldn't even fit our asses on them. Like they were so tiny. Okay. Alright, so that is what everything looks like. And I do want to do a different light fixture. And I have like a bunch of different ideas. Um, I'm probably going to do either like a pretty gold or I was thinking like a chrome or I don't know because I'm not like trying to match it but um, I don't mind doing a gold like a antique brass or something light fixture. Um, I think that's really pretty mixed with oil red bronze stuff. It's pretty in white kitchens. I think chrome's pretty in here too. I just don't want it to look too modern and like you know just like a like too I don't know. I just I think I'm going to do gold because we have gold in here and I really like it. It's never I've never gotten tired of it, but I think like to do it like on faucets and like on a whole kitchen, it might be a little dated. Like, yeah, I mean, it might get dated. It's like it's not dated now, but I just think it's too trendy. Okay, you guys, I have to show you this little kitchen that she got for Christmas. It's from Pottery Barn Kids, and it's super tiny. Like, it's I almost like she's really tall. I think if a kid was like a lot bigger, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think she'll be able to use it for a long time because it's a play kitchen. I mean, I'm not gonna ever get her another one, but. It is so adorable, like it looks like a real little kitchen, right? It's so, so cute. They come in different colors and stuff, but um, we have it in our family room for now. She has a pretty big like playroom area in her bedroom, which I'll probably move it to one day, but she really likes it down here. Our family room is just kind of a free-for-all. It's just kind of like fun times, but I thought this was just so adorable. If you guys have kids and you have like a tight space to put something, like a tiny little area, this is a very, very good play kitchen. We both got kitchens for Christmas. How cute is that?